Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode. We are jumping in again and we're going to check out the last Tarnished character. Tarnished Isaac is the one. You guys have already seen the thumbnail for this one because I accidentally used the wrong thumbnail, kind of. Either way. So, hope you guys like it either way. Yeah, we're going to play as Tarnished Isaac. I know a little bit about this guy. He's essentially like Tainted Isaac where he can only, only hold a certain amount of items, but he has... A different way of re-rolling things as I understand it. So, pretty interesting. I like the idea. Um, okay, I am room right off the bat. That's good to see. So, we get the apple here. Is actually something I want to keep. So, I won't be using the blighted dice on this. Um, but I think the way that it works, from what I understand, is we have this blighted dice here. And if we... Um, very nice. Um... I, these are two items I want to keep for now, I'll be honest. These are two really good items. Um, but if we use the Blighted Dice, it will hurt me. Take one of my items away that is selected and spawn two more and I can pick between the two. And that will also break my Blighted Dice, if I understand this correctly. Ow, bad hit. Um, I, I'll have to test it out. There's also some other stuff you can do with his Broken Dice. See, this is why I wanted the Spiky Ball. Not only does it do good damage um, and you can kind of kite enemies into it, it breaks all the pots and stuff around it, too, which is super, super useful. It does great, great damage. I really like it. Um, right, let's keep it going. So we'll, we'll, we'll change over items when we need to. Uh, I think items stay within the quality they were and the item pool they were from, so that's pretty nice, too. Uh, that's as I understand it. It's been a while since I watched the Slayer video, so I might be wrong on some of these things. We'll find out, I guess, as we go. Either way, as for the question of the day today... Um, what is the weirdest phone call you've ever received? <laughs> Just, I've been getting a lot of scam calls recently, um, and they've all been the same type, um, and I'm just curious if anyone else has had any very odd scam calls or, or otherwise. Basically, the scam center, the same one by the sounds of it, keeps calling me and trying to get me to buy a new phone. And they don't seem to, like, have any sort of register to tell them that, that like, I've said no and I've, like, taken the piss out of them. Uh, they don't seem to have any sort of register that tells them that. So, basically, oh, God. Basically, um, I get, whenever they ring now, I give them, like, really stupid false names and stuff. Um, like, the last one, I gave them the name John Scam. I literally said my last name was Scam. They spelled it out and everything. They didn't catch on at all for a really long time. And then, like, they asked for my address and I gave them a bunch of false addresses. And they were like, no, it doesn't exist. I'm like, no, 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 it's just a new building. It's just a new building. And they're like, okay, can I have your previous address then? Give them my previous address. Apparently that one was real. I just made it up. Um, and they were like, okay, now we just need your sort code. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Of course. And, like, I, 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 was say, I said to them, like, oh, no, I don't feel comfortable um, giving that over the phone. Can you just send an email to my email address? And they're like, oh, we have, we have. Obviously, I've just given them, like, a random false email address. And I kept them on the phone for ages. I was like, okay, okay, I'm just going to need to go and get my card real quick. Um, and I, I took, like, ten minutes. And then eventually they were like, hey, if you're just going to waste my time, I'm going to have to go. And I was like, come on now. Come on now. Right, so I can pick this up. And let's try it with this, shall we? We go blighted dice. And that gets rid of that. Okay, this has actually been pretty good. Oh, wait, no, did it deal damage to me? I don't think it did. It, it made the sound of dealing damage, but I don't think it actually did. So we can take range and damage, or we can take um, range, luck, and a soul heart. I'm going to take this, because the soul heart, we get to keep. That's that's like one of the really good things about this. And now we can just reroll that again. And I think it will stay at quality 2 as well, which is nice. So we can reroll until we get like a good damage dealing item. I like this. This is cool. We can also apparently use the broken dice while it's uncharged, but that's going to cost us heavily. I'm not exactly sure what the cost is. I don't remember. Not, not willing to find out right now. If I'm desperate for it later, I'll try it out. But now we've got to get a six room charge on this to repair our dice. Pretty cool stuff. But yeah, like, why are scam calls still a thing? And like, like, I gotta say as well, th there's... There's just something about it that I find really bizarre. Oopsie, I did not mean to walk into that. I didn't realize it was reflected. Um, like, it's it's not always, but it's, it's pretty common that scam calls come from India. It just is. Like, that's just a fact, unfortunately. Um, and when you receive a phone call 
from an Indian sounding person in a call center where you can hear multiple other voices in the background. What, like, do, do, do they not, what do they expect you to think? And then as well, like, I get that they mainly target older people and that's normally how they get away with it. Wow, I'm taking some bad damage here. That's normally how they get away with it. They target older people that are, uh, that are confused. I don't know what's going on. Um, ooh, that item is invisible. Not quite sure what that's about. I'm, I'm gonna come back when my blighted dice is charged and see if I can pick it up then. I'm not actually sure how that works. Um, ooh, I might have to try and buy a soul heart here real quick. Sadly not. Ooh, we got a gold. Is that a golden item? What the hell? That's a golden item. What the hell is a golden item? Is that something I unlocked from playing Tarnished Greed? Tarnished Keeper even, should I say. Intriguing. Intriguing indeed. Okay. Do I'm gonna guess it's just the same as the, the trinkets where it gives me two of them at once, maybe? Oh, fuck. I'm definitely gonna lose my devil deal here, sadly. Okay, no. I got rid of him at least. All right, these guys go one at a time. Oh, for fuck! I hate these goddamn ghosty boys. I'm so bad at dodging them. Right. Quickly go back. Right, are these things... Okay, I can take these now, so it's something to do with my dice. Yeah, this is golden. Unfortunately, an item that I don't think having two of would actually benefit us in any way. Which is a shame. Right, so now I can take this. And let's use Blighted Dice on this again. And milk a Baphomet of three hearts. Yeah, let's take this because this gives us a heart container. And then we can re-roll it again. Take the pill as well. Range up. Nice. Okay, reasonably happy so far. Reasonably happy so far. Uh, but yeah, like, I get the, the target all the people. One of the things I really just do not understand is when, like, they, they ring me up and they're like, Hi sir, would you like to buy the new iPhone? And I immediately say, oh yeah, that sounds amazing. Why on earth do they believe that? They immediately go, cool, let's get started. Who on earth, who on earth answers the phone to a person they don't know that offers them a new phone and they just go, yeah, sure, sounds ace. Let's go for it. Straight away. They don't ask how much it costs. They don't ask how the process is. They just say yes. And they just go, okay, it's scam time. Let's go. Oh, bugger. Okay, 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 okay. I kind of get it now. Re realistically, we want to be clearing out the whole floor before we do any of this. Um, there isn't a battery in here either. So Jesus Juice might be, uh, might be a bit gone for me. I mean... I'm guessing I can't pick it up while it's invisible like that. I should try to be honest, but let's 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 try and get a charge first. Oh god! <gasps> Extra soul heart, lovely. Doesn't look like we're likely to get a charge here, but yeah, just oh god, scammers are obviously the lowest of the low, absolute scum. Um. But, I, yeah, I just don't understand. To be fair, I have to admit something to, to you. I've been, unfortunately, I've been lying to you all. All this time, you've been thinking that I'm a good person. All this time. But actually, I have to reveal my darkest secret. When I was younger, I used to scam people on RuneScape. It, it's, it's something that I have to live with every single day of my life. But I was, <laughs> I was banned from RuneScape for scamming. Um, it was something that I, I deeply regret, and I, I, I promise all of you those days, are, the, those days are behind me. But my god, did I make so much in-game money out of scamming people. Right, we are one charge off. Okay, let's see if this... Sometimes this room has combat in it. Damn you, okay. I think I'm gonna go to the curse room. In order to grab something here. But yeah, I, I used to scam people in RuneScape a lot. <laughs> Free armor trimmings, best way. Used to um, used to run that gambit quite a lot. Um, and then do the, if anyone's played RuneScape, they'll know, at least old RuneScape, you do the, oh no, not Bob the cat, and then you log off and pretend that you got teleported and you just keep the shit. Um, and I think you had to like be, 
You had to be like reported on like, I, I can't remember how many it was now. It was something like eight count. No, it was, it was like four or five counts of scamming before your account got banned. I was reported on like 165 counts. Please tell me I can pick that up. It didn't give me a charge. Okay, there's another enemy in here. That's why. What the hell are you doing? Thank God. Okay. Now that, that, ladies and gentlemen, is why we absolutely fucking love the spiky ball. It just revealed the magic mush to me. That was pretty awesome. Okay, we got some good stuff. Right, so, now I can pick up Jesus Juice again. We'll grab Jesus Juice. And now we can do our reroll, which we do on this again, I think. Yeah, we'll do it on this again. And that gives us Evil Charm or Blood Clot. Blood Clot's probably better here. More damage, and we'll go down this way. Okay, pretty happy with how this run's going so far. Um, Yeah, I, 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 I deeply, deeply regret my actions, but I used to scam. It's true. I used to be one of those guys. But I've grown up since then. I'm a much I'm a much different person. I hope you can all forgive me. It was fun though. <laughs> it was horrible and it was kind of evil, but it was fun. I also like one of my favorite things, I, I actually stopped, so I, I used to play RuneScape a lot as a kid. And I'm sure many of you out there have also played it, but um, I used to play RuneScape a lot as a kid, but I stopped playing it uh, when they added the Grand Exchange. They added like this big trade center where um, you could do all your trading. And with that update, they also added in basically an anti-scamming, um, like a, 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 something to counteract people scamming people, where if you made a trade with someone, it had to be... Uh, of something with equal value, I think, unless they were a... Really? You just... You just pissed on my head and knocked off my Devil Deal chance. Wow. Um... Slippery Tooth is pretty good. I think we'll take that. And then we'll reroll the eye with, with our Blighted Boy. Okay, that's not great. <laughs> Wait, actually... I'm going to take Thunder Thighs because we get to keep the HP. The speed down's not not very nice, but we can re-roll it and keep the HP, so. Uh, but yeah, basically they added this, this scamming countermeasure where you could only trade for things of equal value. But... Even like this was this was past my scamming days. I really didn't like that because it meant it meant that everyone went to the Grand Exchange to get everything. Um which meant that people did a lot less trading. And one of my favorite things to do was like the art of the deal, where you'd basically get something of like really low cost and you'd trade your way up to something really good. Like I remember I started off with like some sort of potion or something and I managed to trade my way up all the way to like the dragon arm or whatever that was called um, in the game. And I was so proud of myself and it was like such a cool thing. Um, and then yeah, they got rid of that. What's this burn saw do? Using using near a beggar or shopkeeper instantly kills them. Low chance to drop a body themed item when cut a beggar budget. Okay, honestly, I really want that. Let's we'll see if we can quickly get some coins from doing this. Very unlucky here. Oh, come on now. Here's a penny. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed doing that, and they basically completely destroyed that. Uh, I, I don't really want to call it play style, but yeah, and, and it just it just ruined the game for me. I was just like, eh. My favorite thing to do has just been completely and utterly killed, so I'm just gonna stop playing it, and I haven't played it again since. It was a fun game though. I liked it while it was while it was popular, and like me and my. My friends and my cousins played it and stuff. <clears throat> Where's my goddamn penny game? Where's my goddamn penny? Secret room, where are you actually? That's a good point. 
probably here. Okay, quickly just dispatch these. <gasps> There's my pennies. Ow! Didn't expect that. Right. Back we go to get the burn saw. Back we go. But yeah, that's probably like one of the most immoral things I've ever done. <laughs> wait, what? Oh, wait, my, my blighted, my blighted dice needs to be uh, recharged. Hello, Wormwood. That was a perfect hit right there. Good, good. Pentagram's lovely too. We actually did get a Devil Deal as well, which I'll at least check out. Yes, I'll take this. And I'll take it for Thunder Thighs. And then I guess I could swap Thunder Thighs for something else, but I'm just going to leave it there because I don't want another quality one and I need my charge. Right. Go pick up the Burn Saw and hack some people up. So, using near a beggar or shopkeeper. Okay. Right, so let's go to our secret room first. Glad I got my speed back as well. I think I'm going to reroll blood clot next. Burn orbitals and burn orbitals. And we got a low chance for a body, a body part too. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Skedaddle, skadoodle. So far, I'm, I'm liking this character. He seems fun. It seems like a cool twist on Tainted Isaac. Got a little bit of uniqueness to him. Still a few things I don't really understand, but we'll, we'll get there. Extra money's lovely. I mean, the burn orbitals themselves are pretty nice too. Honestly, a little red dude, pretty good. He's pretty aggressive. Like, I'm, prob I'm probably going to keep him. I was thinking of re-rolling him, but because he's quality 3 and we could get a better quality 3 devil deal. But honestly, he's fun. He's doing some real cool shit. Headless fools. Oh! Very nearly went into the spikes there. Boom, boom. Oh, shop. I want to go in the shop just to see the shopkeep, to be honest. We also got a crawl space here instead of a shopkeep, so interesting. Okay, I see the dilemma here. Damn it. Did that work? That did not work. Oh my god. Okay. Picking up a red heart has a 50% chance to heal you for a bonus half heart. It's not that good, to be honest. Red Chain. Red Chain's fun. We'll take Red Chain. Oh, wait. What item did I just destroy? I'm confused. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I did that incorrectly. What item did we just destroy? We got Slippy Tooth, we got the Red Boy, we got Magic Mush, we got... I genuinely don't know what item I just destroyed. I cannot remember at all. I'm going to take this. Oh, if I can grab it. Okay, I can. I'll be honest. For some reason, I thought it worked on the item on the ground, not in our inventory for some reason. But what item did I just destroy? I genuinely have no idea. I mean, it can't be that good, right? Oh, it's Pentagram. It was Pentagram. Okay, that's fine. It's it's not ideal. It's not ideal at all. But I'm fine with it. I would have rather I got rid of Blood Clot, if anything, but... 
punching bag? No, thank you. Wait, so l let me try this out. Okay, let me let me re-roll blood clot, and we get Kinder Egg or Box Toy. We'll take Box Toy for now. Box Top even. Puzzle piece. Your f your fears, and then if this is okay, so this is like this now. And what happens if we walk into it? Oh, it just recharges our active. Okay. Ooh, this is golden. We got to test out what golden ones do. Okay, I think it lit. Yeah, it literally just gave us two of them, which is interesting because it overwrote our item limit. So gold items are going to be good. They seem kind of common, which is like I've seen two already, which is quite a lot, I think. So I can get extra charges like that. That's pretty cool. My snakey boy is definitely staying around. Yeah, the pentagram damage down now. I, I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm certainly feeling it. But I wanted those extra red rooms from the pillars. Shop we've already been to. Good, good. Ow. Good hit. Get out of here, you. Okay, so this, we... We just take to refill, I think. We don't care about it. Star of the Bottomless Pit is pretty fucking good. So I think we... I think we take it. Yeah, and then we put that on the floor. Wait, what? Now this, okay, this this might get rid of Star of the Bottomless Pit. We have to realize that, but I need to test this. Because my inventory says I've got the Immoral Heart there. Oh, okay. Okay, that did get rid of Star of the Bottomless Pit. This has been very confusing. I have wasted some HP in the process here, but it was all in the name of science. The golden item broke things a little bit there. <laughs> I, I had to do it in the name of science. Star of the Bottomless Pit is really good though, so I'm a little bit sad to, to lose it, but it is what it is. It is what it is. I think Slippy Tooth is my next sort of re-rollable, maybe. In fact, we should probably do that now. PhD is pretty good. We'll take PhD. The way to get stats that don't affect our item limit. So... Still a little bit salty about losing my damage. And to be honest, losing Star of the Bottomless Pit. That was my own fault. I knew I knew the risks. I just, I need to see what the hell happened. Because it said I had the Immoral Heart in my inventory. When I didn't. Because I had it gold. I was doing some strange things. Oh. Delete that boy. <laughs> Sadly, still no body uh, body parts yet. Body part themed items, should I say? But we're looking. We're seeing what happens. We're looking. Another pill there. That's lovely. What makes you small is fine. Would like stat upgrades though. Oh, a puzzle piece there. Good stuff. Your fears will help. Will help what? Will help me find the answer. Also, I've got this 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 red pillar item 
yet to find a single red pillar again. Last time I had this item, it did the same thing. And I don't mean last episode, I mean the time before that. It just wouldn't give me any of the red pillars, so it was kind of a useless item. I don't know if taking this item would be useless. Come on, my red snakey boy. Kill him. Because these guys are really annoying to hit. Try and use my, my baby. Multidimensional baby is one we need to reroll next, I think. In fact, let's just do that now, I think. Um, just go with the mother's spine. Okay, keep her going. I need, to be taking, I need to be using things early so we can get enough charges to get it ready for picking up the next item. If we want it, that is. We need more high quality items, really. I might reroll the snake soon. He's, he's good, but the damage is kind of falling off on him. Like... Early stages he was doing really well, but now he's just doing kind of okay. Oh, next puzzle piece. Good, good. That's an item there for us. And we get some damage there. Lovely. Okay, that's a that's a pretty good one. I would like to grab that probably. This burn saw's fun, but that's probably better. Monstrous Tooth, not something we want, uh, so let's just do that, and then I think we go like that, grab that. We should at least uh, burn saw the, the the keeper in here, the... Uh. All of you created spiders, lovely. Spawning these fucks. Ah, for God's sake. Okay. Good, good. Bone Soul will leave you behind. We'll wait until the Devil Deal slash item, uh, slash Bosch item, whatever, to do our next bit. Card there. Oh, got one of these. Ow. Took a lot of damage I didn't need to there, but there you go. It gave me two Gigabombs. Wasn't expecting that. Oh, thank God we got a Gigabomb for this guy. Fuck you. Stupid boss. Everyone hates you. Go away. Get double Gigabombed, you shithead. <laughs> No one likes you. Um, right, I'm going to try and reroll this bad boy. And we get two pretty good stuff. I'm going to take the Ocular Rift. Strength card, why not? Got our secret rooms revealed now as well. Ooh, we got one of these rare chests. These things are very fucking good. Come on, open. There we go. An extra look for our ocular rift and apple shots as well, so that's good. From our trinket here. Trust me, the PhD's worth keeping for a little bit, I think. Oh, we finally found a pillar. Before I actually go through that portal. Oh, there's another one here as well. There you go, Ultra Secret Room. And there's another one in here, wow. That's pretty good. Um I would like to I would like that very much so.
Need two more charges somehow. Damn it. Okay, that's going to do it. Thank you, Snow Globe. That's all the way down here. Bugger. Let's go and do this first. Where was that other one? I can't remember now. Over here, maybe? Oh, the portal fucking disappears. If you don't enter it straight away. Good to know. Good to know. Right. Down this way. There's our second secret. We've been looking forever for that. Right, in here we go. Right, we can pick this up now. And this is quality three. Trade this for Mother's Spine, I think. PhD just has such a good chance to be good. Heart container for an item. Let's try this out. Let's gamble. Death's list. That can give us stats as well. Fucking double tapping to drop your shit. I hate it. Get it out of my life. How much of a damage down is this? Pretty big damage down. Maybe we get rid of the spiky ball at this point. It's very nice. But Death's List... Basically, Death's List can give us stats. Is my thinking. And being able to get stats through PhD and Death's List... Irrelevant of the items we have equipped is very, very good. That's my thinking right now. Right. There we go, yeah. I, I could play around more with the items that are on the floor and do some stuff with those, but I'm not going to mess around with that for right now. Okay, I didn't even pay attention to Death's List in this room. I kind of forgot I had it for a second. Let's actually try and pay attention to it, shall we? Now, this room's going to be impossible to use Death's List on, but I'll try my best. Okay, no, this is going to be impossible. Yeah, this room's impossible. Doesn't matter. Just carry on. Arcade, hello. Do too much for us. We've got another one of those demon boys there. If I give him some heart containers again. Oh, dude, why did I attack? There's no point having Death's List if I don't fucking use it. Wait, what? Something else died at the other side of the map. How? Oh, the, I think the Brimstone guy killed him. I think he did. The Death's List is not, not proving to be a useful thing for us right now because I've not even triggered it once. Yeah, with Ocular Rift, it's not going to work, is it? I'm going to keep accidentally killing the wrong stuff. Marked. Lovely. Uh, let's just... Oh, wait. I, can get... I, I can't have a card. That's that's problematic. Um... The double tap press is stupid. Get it gone. I'm just going to blight it, dice it, and see what else we get. Ooh, Eve's nail polish is fantastic. I'm taking that. Okay. Uh, and honestly, Marked, we just pick up for the charge. Right, Eve's nail polish, real fucking good. Increases our fire rate by a ton. The toy drum is good too. I think toy... Toy drum for PhD, maybe? I like PhD a lot. I'm going to take Toy Drum for PhD. But then I'm going to try and fucking stop dropping my trigger. <sighs> I'm going to try and re-roll it to get something better. What's better here? 
Well, this is quality two, so excuse me. It should be quality three. So I'll take the quality three one. Okay. Happy. Got rid of death list and PhD already. Just making executive decisions here. I think we've got... I think we've got our forever build now. And the only other item that I'm willing to maybe get rid of is the red chain. Just because that is proving to be a bit useless when it doesn't spawn any pillars. Which is happening way more often than I'd like. Judas is shadow. Money equals power. I'm going to take Slick Spades to charge, and I'm going to take money equals power. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Right, let's go. Money equals power, the damage multiplier we have is really good. Okay. I'm pretty happy. The trinket is making our uh, apple fire more razors. Making us fire more ocular rift tears, which I really like. We've got good damage. Orbital tears are going crazy here. I like that too. Got very good damage. It's not a crazy build, but it's, it's good. Certainly good. Still getting a 0.6 damage up from each coin as well, which is really good. Right. Hit okay, those enemies, so I'm glad I killed them quickly. We are killing stuff at a good rate here. We're making our way through the through the floor pretty well as well, I think. I think we're on the right track by the looks of things. Yeah, there you go, look, perfect. Perfect navigation. And our book is saving our life too. Well, I don't know what the hell happened with you there, but that was just absolute annihilation. Yeah, we leave that as it is. Don't need no cube of meat. I've already got the achievement for the meat boy anyways, so we are all good. Got it as our friendly little Eden fella, I think, if I remember correctly. Tarnished Eden. Right. Just race into the end now. I mean, this will give us a uh, bookworm, hopefully. It will indeed. There you go. Lovely. Money. Money, money, money. Good, 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 good. This run is going swimmingly. Two mini bosses in one floor, holy hell. Just checking that for an item. Not that we can take items at the minute anyways. But at least we know if we get golden items, that's pretty good. Also, golden items just seem cool anyways. I'm hoping I find more of those. I'm, I'm just hoping they're not too common. I've seen like I've seen two in this one run, which considering this is the run directly after I unlocked them, I'm guessing, seems pretty common. I'm hoping it's like a 0.5% chance of spawning or, or, or something along those lines. I don't know. Maybe it's just the exact same chances as a, as a golden trinket. I just got lucky. Because I, I haven't seen golden trinkets in ages. That's only because I don't have them unlocked. I really should go and unlock golden trinkets, actually. I need to unlock more ta uh, tainted characters. I've not really been keeping up with that. Oh my god. What's going on in this room? Okay, we're able to regain our health reasonably regularly. 
much as I am getting hit way too much. But yeah, it's, it's like, this is one of the characters kind of like Tainted Isaac, where his gimmick's really cool on the early fours, but then late game, you've kind of just locked in to your build. You've designed your build, you've got your build, and then you can just kind of move on. At the minute, we've gone for a very damage and um, tier effect heavy build, which I quite like. Although I'm not seeing too many razors, although they might just be disguised. It might just be that they don't look like razors, but they're actually there. No, what is second of that? And yeah, I'll do Dark Path. I really need to unlock Blue Baby at some point. The uh, the boss, that is, because I just haven't. I need to get there and do that. The minute we're just going to beeline through these floors, killing things at lightning speeds. Laser Ghosties. Not too bad. Oh, I missed you. How? A lot more money there, lovely. Taking a lot of very stupid and obvious damage right now, but it is what it is. Got a PhD anymore. Don't want them. I mean, the pills are still revealed, though. I do forget that just picking up PhD means that we constantly get the... Uh, we constantly get the, the names of all the pills now, even once it's removed. I kind of rather have the black heart from you. Nice. Nope, got an item. Uh, pet peeve. Let's take it and then... Blighted dice it. Ooh, yeah, succubus. There you go. Happy with that. And then we'll pick that up. Good. Managed to get one more thing out of here. Just more damage, but also more so to the point, the aura damage from the actual bat itself, from Succubus itself, is insanely high, because our damage is high. Cut them goats, brimstone goats. And then obviously we get a pretty heckin' big damage upgrade. When we're in the radius too. Go. Okay. Make sure we get the pennies. Item room is eluding. Item room, sorry. Boss room is eluding me right now. find it eventually though. Cut down whippy little shits. There it is. Good, good, good. Got there in the end. It took a little while. Whoa. Look at you. Horror babble on enough. Three, two, one, and boom. A little bit of damage there. Early bit of damage there. Oh, boy. Satan, you are such a weak bitch. <laughs> I'll admit I kind of bollocks up that last phase, but it went reasonably okay. I welcome these chests to see what they are, but I doubt I'm taking anything here. Yeah, I'm not taking anything. Oh, that was a very bad hit off the bat there. Not very good. That's kind of interesting. 15% chance to get an extra charge. But I don't want to lower the chances of me getting stuff. Oh, come on now. Eternal Bombs is actually potentially pretty darn good for us. But it just doesn't really fit. Everything else we've got is so good. It just doesn't really fit. Schmacky boy, dude. Trying to schmack me. Oh, God. The hand. It's very scary. Good. 
good. We are destroying through these rooms pretty quickly. I like that. This guy is a bit scary later on the... I'm sure if I'm going somewhat the right way. Seems like it. Ow. Pulled them all towards me with a rift there. Not, not the best move. Oh, dude. Wizoobs with their stupid shots. Do not like. We should be fine for HP here still. I'm not taking too much damage. Oh, for fuck! Oh. Got them aerial shots. Okay, we are going right way to the boss, luckily. We've not got a ton of health going into this. We've got to be somewhat careful. I'm trying to use my succubus where I can here. And he is dead. Good, good, good. We got him. We got him. No victory lap. There you go, baby. A nice Isaac win. I don't know if we got any unlocks for that. It didn't pop up with any, but I'm hoping we did. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.